Welcome back. Today we got another project here. I uh, bought myself on eBay one of these Francis Francis coffee makers and it has been sold in good working order, nice and clean. It was clean, yeah, but it doesn't work. The problem is it's not pumping water. I tried to inject water basically flush it with the with a steam valve open and the sound of the pump was changing and then it was flooding the kitchen so I think this thing is full of lime scale uh, so we're gonna take it apart I have no idea how it comes apart but it looks like there are some screws down here and probably some screws under these rails because there are some holes under that rail, I don't know. Let me figure it out and take the cover off and we'll find it. Well, we found the trick. It's actually that chrome ring is held by one screw underneath here. So the ring comes off. The ring comes off this way. And then you take these two screws out and there is a little There is a little plastic lock inside here. I don't know if that's visible. I think that needs to be pushed aside and then it comes apart. That's what it looks like. And then and then the whole top cover should come off. So let's try that. Well that worked. It's this one here. And there is one here as well. It's one is here. And the other one is here so gently really gently push them in and the whole thing just lifts up so what we need to look at is uh, this is the water pump and apparently that's the water inlet that's the water outlet we had water coming off the overflow here so this is the this is the water overflow. I think there is a pressure relief valve eventually. Water was coming out here. I think the boiler is blocked. Or just the the pipe which goes down. So what we're gonna do now is we take this little screw out and then the steam valve should just come off. So we can see <coughs> if that's free or not. If that's not the case the boiler is completely full of lime scale. Uh, we also found a birthday, which is 16th of February 2007. So it's nine years old. So we'll take the pipe off from the boiler. Uh, check if that valve goes through, but I think it does. And uh, if that's all free, it's either in the boiler or on the outlet here because the steam valve is completely out. That's my light. The steam valve is completely out, so it should have been an open hole. And it looks sort of, it looks sort of open, but you don't really see it because it's going around the corner here. So. As usual with these machines, it's most likely just the boiler being full of crud. I don't know the history of it, I don't know how much it has done in, this, in its life. Well, I think we found the issue. It's the, it's the boiler itself, it's either the inlet or the outlet. I, that's my light. I took the steam valve completely off and I could fill it there but I couldn't get any pressure so now I took the pipe off put it there and pumped it full with uh, with uh, vinegar and I have the feeling it's slowly going through because I can build up some pressure but it, it's actually released so while we're at let's talk about the bits here these two terminals are the heater. 
I think this is a temperature switch or water level switch. I'm not entirely sure. This is just the temperature gauge here and this is the temperature sensor which goes to the electronics. <coughs> That's the pump. There is a check valve, non-return valve here and I think there is also a pressure relief valve which goes down to the drain which goes back into the water reservoir. That's the feed pipe which goes into the boiler and obviously it comes out here. So pretty simple, not much in it really. And uh, we let that sit overnight with some vinegar in. The, the goal is actually getting a little bit of flow through the boiler so we can actually flush it with uh, some descaler and see if it works then. All right, we'll leave that alone till tomorrow and uh, see how it progresses. All right, it's the next day and uh, we soak everything in vinegar and it comes out really shiny. And that was blocked. Now it's great. That looks good as well. All the lime scale is gone. So that thing goes back to, back to this end here. Uh, basically just gasket. If they pour, just use new ones. They, they don't need to be original spare parts for the machine because they're usually quite expensive. Okay, let me get that back together. It just goes there and uh, we'll see. So we finally got it to do something. There is still areas here where it might be something or in the pump as well. Um, I turned it on with the steam vent open or steam valve open. So what it does, as soon as the water level drops, it fills it up. Obviously this is all power, so it don't touch anything. It's all mains power. Um, don't kill yourself. And the uh, temperature is coming up now. What I basically did, I primed the, boil the boiler with, um, with some water. And I also primed the pump with some vinegar. I think the check valve is still a bit dirty. But I could hear, when, when I leave that open, it's uh, at some point it's just... I turn it off in a second and then uh, if the steam disappears, and I turn it on next time, it, the water level will drop. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this thing here is a water level switch. Because that's what it does. Ready now. So. All we do is just pumping vinegar through basically, hot vinegar. Mm, lovely vinegar smell here. Eh? But yeah, the, the problem was that. Uh, the waterway, especially through the check valve, was somehow gummed up or blocked up because sometimes it was working, sometimes it didn't. So it actually didn't build any pressure in the boiler. And uh, that problem seems to be solved now. We just wait until this thing is hot. Almost there. Needs a little bit more. The reason why I don't want pressure is because I don't want the check valve pushing back into the seat which is still probably dirty and uh, come on, get some temperature here. Okay, now it's ready. Okay, now. <coughs> doesn't sound good. I'm not getting any water here. Okay. 
Okay, we still have an issue here that we don't get water through. Let me try that again. So we're finally pumping vinegar espresso here. Let's just leave it running until it goes on fault because I think if it runs too long it goes on fault. There's not much flow at the moment. Yeah, now it's complaining that uh, we haven't got the temperature right. Water been running for too long. Nice, runs again. I think it just counts the time, but apparently it's pouring, so it's okay. The steam lamp is leaking. Need to check that. Again, electricity is dangerous, guys. Don't touch anything here if you don't know what you're doing, because it will hurt you, especially in combination with water. Uh, but repairing these machines, you need to have them open. So. I'm going to shoot a gallon of vinegar water mixture through and uh, hopefully then it will work. Uh, I can't wait. I can't tell right now if the repair was successful. But the problem we had was essentially we didn't get any flow through the machine. And uh, so you can't descale it because you, you're going to need some fluid going through. Let's stop that. You need some fluid going through the machine, uh, otherwise you can't flush it. And that was our problem. I think we had two issues. One was the outlet of the steam vent was completely blocked. That screw was blocked and I think inside in the, in the boiler was blocked as well. Also I could not, I could not push any water through the boiler even everything was open. So I just filled up with vinegar and left it overnight. We had some blockage here because the overflow valve, the pressure relief valve did work, but the check valve, which basically makes the water non-returning to the, to the tank, that was some sort of gummed up or whatever. And it took some attempts to get that going. Uh, these, things are, these things are always handy. Um, so yeah. I think that's okay so far, put it back together and uh, just flush it a few times and then we'll make some coffee. So I think we call it a success. Um, we'll leave it sitting on vinegar for the night just to make sure everything is cleaned. I use vinegar because it's uh, food safe and uh, you never know what, what's in these, these calos. I don't know, I, I'd rather use vinegar, it may take a bit longer but I know what it is. Um, let's put it back together and uh, we'll flush it tomorrow and make some coffee, but I'm not going to film that anymore. Getting it back together is easy. There is a hook here, which is the rear, and these two lugs. The hook goes in here and, and the lugs snap in here and here. So make sure the power is off and uh, then just slide it back on. And be it. I need two hands for that, sorry. And once you snap the cover on, just put this screws back in both sides. This one and this one here. So screws are in and then just put that chrome ring on. Sort of hooks in here somehow and then just uh, put a little screw back on which is down here and that's it and then I'll have for that and here we go everything back together so Success. Well, that happens if you buy stuff from eBay. It's always a gamble. The main purpose of this video is actually showing the seller what I found here. Um, well, we'll have a discussion with the guy. 
All right. That should be it from the Francis Francis X6 uh, espresso machine. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time. Mm -hmm.